how developing countries can achieve a green economy. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Carl Christian Dimalesa, a student of Bohol Island State University main campus, taking a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Mathematics. And I am going to tackle how developing countries can achieve a green economy. Humanity faces serious challenges in the coming decades. Climate change, biodiversity loss, growing inequality, and many more. This systematic global crisis cannot be tackled in isolation because they are all interconnected. But our economic systems are not fit enough to deliver a good balance of environmental and social goals. Embracing the notion of sustainable development is easier said than done particularly in developing economies. There is now an increasing recognition that the battle to preserve the global village from environmental harm that cannot be won without the support of the developing world. So, how can developing countries can really achieve a green economy? So first is recycling. Recycling conserves natural resources, reduces pollution, and saves energy. Recycling involves sorting and cleaning up trash to produce secondary materials. Secondly, torn down the bog, plastic bags pose ecological problems. They take hundreds of years to decompose and pose a particular threat to wildlife. A sound approach to retail bags is to decline them when your purchase is otherwise careable. Thirdly, do not invest in an idle equipment. You are wasting money and natural resources used to produce them when you buy items you won't regularly need. Use block parties and everyday interactions to initiate a sharing culture in your neighborhood. And lastly, Donate used goods. Donation is a particularly positive alternative to throwing away used consumer goods in the trash. Give your use to someone who needs. Moreover, around the world where we depend greatly on the natural environment for their health and livelihood, especially people in developing countries, a healthy environment supplies the necessities of life like water, food, and air. It also provides resources for economic growth and, and the means to fight natural hazards. The well-being of developing countries is often linked to the state of the natural environment and the opportunities it offers. But globally, many interconnected environmental issues have been worsening recently. They include air and water pollution, climate change, soil degradation, overexploitation of natural resources, biodiversity loss, deforestation, desertification, and ocean acidification. These environmental challenges are making the relationship between environmental sustainability and poverty reduction stronger. So, are new economic opportunities related to green growth and technology. This is why it is important to help developing countries to improve and sustainably manage their natural environment. Meanwhile, developing countries can achieve that green economy by working together. To implement the conventions, which includes United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, Second is the UNC to combat desertification. Third is the Convention on Biological Diversity. Fourth is the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. Fifth is the Minamata Convention on Mercury. And lastly is the Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer. These agreements underscore the connection between poverty, equity, and environmental sustainability. It in also includes the Do Not Harm, which is, it is an initiative that will not pollute or degrade the environment or the natural resources of its countries. 
Initiatives that will aim for multiple benefits that improve the environment while benefiting other sectors. Secondly, is to capitalize on environmental opportunities. It seeks to capitalize on opportunities offered by the natural environment and emerging environmental related opportunities. Such opportunities include renewable energy resources, green growth, ecotourism, and climate friendly renewable. Uh, climate friendly finance. And lastly, mitigate environment related risk. It considered environmental risk, risk including those posed by climate change, such as drought, flooding, and extreme weather related events. Mitigation measures will be integrated into strategies, policies, and programming in order to safeguard investments and results achieved. However, in 2018, the Environment uh, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, released an alarming warning. In this shocking report, the IPCC, or the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, shared new uh, shared now where we are dangerously near to destroy ourselves beyond repair when it comes to global warming. So the planet's temperature today is um, close to the figure having seen average global temperatures rise between 0 0.8 and, and 1.08 degrees Celsius. In comparison to pre-industrial values, the IPCC farther warned that we could reach the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold sometimes between 2030 and 2052. And once that happens, we could face issues such as rising sea levels, extreme weather, flooding, and many more. This is why many parties have begun campaigning in environmental uh, preservation in recent years. We are acknowledging the impact mankind has on the planet and that we still have the opportunity to change our habits to preserve the planet for our future generations. Increased education and awareness are what fuel small but growing movements like the hashtag trash tag initiative. This initiative has also has people from around the global clearing garbage that has piled up over the years, then sharing um, before and after photos of the areas they have cleaned up to inspire and encourage others to do the same so. To preserve the environment, Eco World looks to avoid getting rid of natural hills and hold back from uprooting trees where possible. Even uprooted trees are often replanted elsewhere to ensure that they continue to live on. Thousands of trees have been transplanted over the years, over the years with the hope of enticing global animals to return to their natural habitat after the development is completed. Corporations that want to play a, re a role in preserving the environment must first review their um, practices and now they are affecting the planet. For corporations in the flood industry, it could mean reducing, um, reducing wastage by tackling excess, um, ex excess portage of ingredients and products. For toy manufacturers, it could mean switching from using harmful materials to safer biodegradable materials for production. For, me, for supermarkets, it could mean eliminating the use of single-use plastic bags altogether. Nevertheless, being environmentally conscious is not all about plastic bags. It's about making everyday choices that will quite literally determine our success or failure as a species. We can be more conscious about reducing pollution, practicing wildlife, practicing wildlife, conserving natural resources, and take other actions that could uh, that can help slow the rate of climate change growth by the developing countries. Everyone can make a difference, particularly with smart environmental choices become a habit and perhaps even begin influencing others into taking smaller actions. Doing the great things for the future of life on Earth can even make immediate personal benefits. 
it can talk your creatively, can get you more engaged with your community and grow, and may contribute to a healthier lifestyle. We need to reduce the amount of trash we create and to reuse or repurpose consumer goods rather than throwing them away. To my fellow citizens, to my fellow students, to my co youths let us achieve a greener and better world. As we all know, we humans are the biggest enemy of our Mother Earth because of our ignorance and apathy. And what we have to do is to start changing our ways, to start recalibrating our minds and redirecting our steps. Because together, as a global community, our micro efforts will have a macro effect to help save our home, our planet, and our earth to be a better place to live in. Hashtag Black Earth Breathe. That's all for my speech, and thank you for listening. Once again, good day. Thank you.